So you are all geared up with your web designing superpowers and you are ready to take on client projects. But here comes your first challenge and that is where exactly are these clients or where do you find clients for your web designing services so no matter if you are just starting up or an experienced web designer this is one of the biggest struggles finding your first client or maybe finding regular clients for your web designing services it's not easy so in this video we are going to talk about eight different sources or tactics that you can use to get your first web designing client or maybe regular clients for long term. So if that sounds interesting, let's dive in. Now before we begin, here are a few disclaimers or the points that you should understand. Now there are some techniques or sources that will work very well for some people, but not for others. So if you are a beginner, make sure you try all of them and see which one works best for you. But one thing is sure that all of these tactics are real and they're definitely going to give you results in short and long term. And most importantly, all these sources and strategies are not quick money schemes. You need to work on them as a long term business plan. So they are definitely going to work if you stay consistent and enjoy the process. So let's start with our first source and that is your family and friends referral. And this one is by far the best and the most reliable source of clients that you can get because these are the clients that you will get from your very known family and friends. So once you are ready to take on client projects, make sure you let your family and friends know that you are in business and accepting new clients to take new projects. Just get the word out, let the conversation get started and sooner or later you will definitely going to get some calls or emails asking about your web designing services. Number two, creating Google My Business page. Now, as you are offering your web designing services, you don't want to leave local clients behind, especially when you are just building up your business. So make sure you go ahead and create a Google My Business profile where you can list your business and your services that you are offering, which is not just good for building an online image for your business, but it also going to help you a lot in local searches as well. So whenever someone is searching for web designing services in your local area, chances are your profile will show up and they are going to contact you for your services. So in order to target local clients, make sure you create and optimize your Google My Business profile. Number three, Ghost Designer. Now this one is also a very good source if you are just starting up. And this is how it's going to work. You are the one who is providing web designing services. Now you can go out and search for companies which are in maybe graphic designing field or maybe in online or digital marketing field and you can go ahead and contact them and offer your web designing services to them as a collaboration. So whatever client they are going to get for maybe graphic design or maybe for marketing, if they get any requirement for a website design or any work related to website design, they can contact you. And that of course goes vice versa. If you got any client that requires graphic design or online marketing, you can refer them for these services. So it's definitely a big win-win collaboration for both. And the best part is you don't have to restrict yourself in your local area for these companies. You can go ahead and search for any company online and you can do this collaboration as a ghost designer for them. Number four, freelancing marketplace. Now this one is very common if you are offering some freelancing services like website designing in your case. As soon as you learn all the web designing skills, the first thing that you are going to do is register on various freelancing websites and maybe bid on various projects as well. Now, I'm not a big fan of these freelancing platforms, but as you are just starting up and you want your first client as soon as possible, then you can surely go ahead and try these freelancing marketplace as well. So you can use them in the beginning just to get the first few clients and maybe work on other sources as well. Number five. Facebook groups. Now this one is very interesting and I have not seen many people using this. Now I am considering that you are offering WordPress website designing services. So what you can do is join various Facebook communities, maybe for WordPress or maybe specifically for your target client niche. And then just be active in these communities and make sure you honestly go ahead and help people in solving their queries or maybe time to time you can post some freebies that are really valuable and going to help the members of that Facebook community. But make sure you don't spam the group. Make sure you use this community as honestly as possible to help others. And trust me, you are definitely going to get some long term clients from that. Number six, cold outrage. Now, this one is the most common way that you must have heard from everyone in order to get clients go ahead and do outreach on various places. 
send bulk SMS, DMs, emails. So I'm sure you have heard all of that before. But here is the smarter way to do this. Now there are various type of cold outreach that you can do. So let's say you are going to use social media for DMing various people in your niche if they need your services. So instead of directly sending them DMs and pitch your services, do this instead. You can go ahead and send a DM introducing yourself and the services that you're offering and ask them if they can refer you to someone in their circle who need a web designer for their business. And just like any cold outreach, if they reply your message and give a contact referral, then you can go ahead and use this as a referral that I have been referred by one of your friend and I offer this kind of services. So that person will have a perception that you are being referred from a reliable source which is a big plus. Now, another way of cold outreach is our conventional emails. But we are not going to do spamming or bulk emailing. We are going to send personalized emails using a Loom recording. Here is how it's going to work. Let's say you want to offer your web designing services to some local businesses like dental clinics or maybe hair salon. Now, you're going to search these businesses in your local area and see if they got any website or not. If they got one and you think that it need to be redone as per modern standards then go ahead and record a loom video where you can explain how you and your services can add value to their business or their current website that they have and of course it can work for any business not just for your local area and once you have recorded this loom video make sure you go ahead and send this recording in a personalized email and the business owners will definitely go ahead and recognize your efforts number seven personal branding now this one is my favorite if you are offering any kind of services and you want inbound leads, in today's time, there is nothing better than creating your personal brand to attract leads. No matter you are offering B2C or B2B services, you can create your personal brand around any niche. All you have to do is just pick one platform on social media and then start creating content on that which can provide value to the target audience. And if you can do videos, that's the best thing that you can do to build up your personal brand and audience from which you can surely get some reliable long term clients. Number eight, networking offline. Now, once again, this works for both beginners as well as for the experienced web designers. Make sure you keep an eye on all the events happening about your business in your local area as well as in the nearby cities and make sure you attend these events just to build up your network, interact with people in your business or in your target audience niche. Because as they say, your network defines your net worth and building your network is again going to give you referral clients which is again the most reliable source to get clients so these are some of the strategies and sources that you can use to get your web designing clients even if you are just kick starting your web designing business if you like this video then make sure you give it a like and if you are just a beginner and you want to learn web designing make sure you watch this video right here to know how you can learn web designing in the next 30 days and for more such videos, make sure you subscribe to this channel and hit the notification bell so that you can get notified whenever we upload our next video. That's it for this one and I'll see you in the next video.